Hey, do you struggle getting consistent images of photo characters doing things? Uh, I want to show you how to fix that, and it's pretty easy. So you got to watch the video, though. So here we go. I'm going to, I've got a prompt set up, and I'm going to get something going. And I'm going to use this just as an example. So this could be anything that you're generating. Um, and we just got a 10-year-old girl, right? And uh, we've got four choices, and we're going to pick one of these, and we're going to have the girl doing different things, right? So we've got these four. Which one do we like the best? Uh, let's go with this one, okay? So there's two things that we want to talk about today, right? First off is using the character reference, uh, which is the C ref, and the other is using a seed. Those two combo uh, uh, techniques allow you to create images, multiple images of this person doing all types of different things, different expressions, all of that, right? So how does it work? First off, we want to click and get the seed. So right here in this button, right here, you see it right here, click that and go to copy and then go to seed. And then we've got it, right? So go to prompt and then we're going to type in dash dash S E E D space and we're going to punch that number in. The second thing I want you to do is to down here, just click the image. And then there's some control buttons right here. Uh, we want to click the C ref one, which looks like a person. We want to click that. Now that tells mid journey, hey, dummy, use this. Okay, now let's get uh, this girl doing some different things, right? So first off, let's just do some expressions just so you can see what's going on. So let's have her um, laughing, crying, and shouting, okay? Um, and we're just going to hit go. And those are, of course, in the power permutation brackets. Uh, that allows you to create multiple images all at once. That's just to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. And it looks like it's going ahead and uh, I've got my results in. Now, so this is the same girl, multiple expressions. Here she is, uh, uh, you know, supposed to be laughing. Looks like she's smiling, right? But check out, you know, the teeth, the T-shirt, the, the hair, right? It's the same girl, right? Here she is uh, crying, I guess, and here she is shouting, right? So it's the same girl doing different things, right? Some of these are probably better than others, and we can re-roll and do a bunch of stuff to make them perfect. Uh, that's not what this video is about. This video is about showing you different things, right? So we want this girl doing different things. So let's say she's riding a bike, she's running, and she's jumping, okay? And let's close the bracket. And then while we're at it, let's change the aspect ratio. This is kind of a skinny rectangle. Let's go ahead and make one that's more horizontal because she's riding a bike and jumping and doing stuff, right? Let's go ahead and do that, right? So now what we're gonna see is we've got these images where you know she's doing all these different expressions now we're going to have her do different activities. Of course, if we wanted to, we could have added some other photos with the C ref to give it a little more emphasis. But here's the same girl riding a bike, right? Riding a bike. Here she is running, and here she is uh, jumping, right? So anyway, so what do you think? You know, this is an easy way for you to get the same person doing different things with different poses, different expressions, uh, and it's pretty it's pretty easy to do. So anyway, I'm going to stop on that photo. So thanks so much for watching the video. Really appreciate you. Got any questions or comments? Drop them right below the video. Uh, would love for you to subscribe to the Mid Journey Experience newsletter. Uh, it comes out uh, weekly for only twelve bucks a month. It's got packed full of tips and tricks, just like this one. Um, and uh, we'll love to see you there. So, got any questions or comments? Please give us. A